today I'm going to draw a gibbon. So I'm going to be drawing it for an ace and everyone who wants to draw the gibbon. It's like a monkey and um, I'm going to base it on an artist called, it's really tricky to pronounce, but it's Oh Non Hammersley. So she was a artist, like a semi-abstract artist and she's still alive, so I'm saying was, but she is still alive. Um, she was born 1957, so if you write that down on the back of your paper, just so you can remember, because she did so many cool pictures. So just write that down, pause the screen if you need to. But what I wanted to show you was some of the pictures she's done. So she's done like this really cool, so it's not that realistic, that's why it's semi-abstract, because it's not particularly realism, so it's more abstract. So we've got some zebras there. We've got, this is the lady herself, she looks cool, her jacket is actually a piece of artwork, how cool is that? You can make your own clothes into your artwork, uh, your own artwork into clothes. This is a little monkey there, and then we've got this really cool thing, love it. It's like a toucan but not, and then we've just lastly got some parrots, with I think a little bit of a cheetah there. So we're going to do the monkey today, we can do the gibbon. So all we need to do, pe uh, pencil, paper, off we go. So what you need to do is, it's long ways, it's not a cross. So we're just gonna start off with a circle. So think about a cookie. So think cookie, circle, it's gonna be about there. Try not to get it too far up, too far down, too far this way, because we're gonna do some big arms and big legs. So once you've got his face, we're just gonna make it into his face, just so we know what we're doing. So we're just going to do a little line like that, which is going to be his mouth. Then we're going to do just a little shape like this. So just a little, little itty bitty shape. And then what you want to do is create a bit of a nose. Just a little line like that. I'm just going to turn my phone off because it's ringing. It's ringing. And then we want to do cool eyes. So think about, it'd be nice to just sort of do a line like that, just around, just so you can sort of shape the head. And then you want to do a circle, circle. And just to get it to look like it's got a little bit of an eye, I'm going around it. If you can't see, I'm just going to show you. Can you see that? I've gone around. So that's all you need. Then, once you've done that, we want to sort of make a bit of an ear, so we're going to do a shape like that. We're going to go round it and make it look really cool and fluffy. Oh no, my floor, I crunched loads of pastel, so it's a little bit messy and I've got my socks on. <laughs> it's getting so messy. Right, from the cookie, go meow. And from this bit of the cookie, go up. So you've got two lines, you've got one coming out and one kind of going up. And then you want to just look at where your head is, and it's kind of where the nose is. So you float over the nose, so you're hovering, you're not touching the paper, and you're just going to float across and just do a little dot there. Then you're going to float across the other side and just do a little bit of dot there. So this is where the arms are going to go. So we're just going to touch that bit there and go, touch this, bit, this circle there and go, so you've got the two big arms now, he's kind of doing that and that, near his little head. So once you've done that, we're going to go down. So we're going to go da da do, and a bit of a curve at the end if you can. This side, we're going to go down as well, just a little bit down. Can you see how I've kind of not gone straight down, I've kind of tapered it inside there and gone down. Right now we can do the cool legs, because he's in this branch, he's in these trees. So we're just going to... From here, you're going to do like a shape, like a U. So from that line, you go up and you do a U. And then you're going to turn these into legs. So you're going to touch this bit here and you're going to go up. Can you see? And then you're going to go down. Like that. So this is now a leg, like a folded leg, because then you're going to go... So it's like, you know those legs where his bottom could actually be more larger, if I'm honest, but we'll keep it like that for now. Then we want to do the other leg, a bit like you're folding your legs if you're watching an assembly. 
So because here we're going to do a little dot. So put your pencil about there on the legs and you're going to go up. What I want to do is try and make a knee. They look quite cool. So almost like a circle, but don't go all the way round. Then go down. So you've got the whole knee and the whole leg. And it's just going to go like that. Just because that's the other bit of his thigh, just there. And then we're not going to worry about the detail of the feet. We're just going to go just two little rainbows like that. Because it's going to be in some trees and stuff. Now we want to do the the arms. And he said legs. So we're going to go up. Up. Can you see as I go up, it gets thinner. So really long arms are given. Most monkeys are, but... I think it's a monkey. I'm just going to super check that. <laughs> and then we're going to go, meow, and then, meow. So you've got two big arms and they're kind of waving around in the tree. So now we want to make the tree, otherwise it doesn't look like he's in the tree. So we're just going to touch where his head is and go, nice long line, till you hit where you've just drawn, because his hand is curved over. So we're going to touch a bit of the tree there and you're going to go sausages like that. Because what you're going to then do is you're going to get a rubber and rub out the tree line because you only want it to look like his hands are going over the tree. So just rub out there so you're left with just his, his hands going over the tree. Then you've got this bit, so big tree there. So it's just like a little tree that goes all the way. You could literally continue it all the way behind him, but it doesn't matter. So you've got the tree bit there, and this goes out. So it's a bit like your hand, where you've got this bit here, and then it goes out. So just do it going out. You don't really need to draw anything else. And we're gonna make him look floppy little. So what we wanna do is just zigzag a little bit because they're quite fluffy in places around the head and then here maybe we could do I quite like the idea of leaves because he's in the canopy of the trees which means there's lots of leaves and we could do leaves around him if we want it's up to you oh we can carry on this tr uh, this tree here as well so it's up to you if you want to create leaves, you don't have to, but it just looks quite jungly, it's pretty cool. Right guys, guys, right, so just like Hammersley did, the artist, she coloured it really brightly, so if we look at her other monkey here, where's the monkey? The background's purpley and you've got green and the monkey's kind of brownie colour. So what I'm going to do is this bit, I'm just going to make this a little bit more wide because it's a bit too small I've drawn it. You can amend yours if you don't think it looks right as well. It's trial and error when you're doing things to do with art because some things you need to change. I just might do another leaf there, you know, because it's quite nice to show that you're sort of sitting on the tree of all the leaves. Right. Okay, so now we're going to colour it in. I'm going to use oil pastels, just because I haven't used them for a while, actually. It depends what videos you've watched, but I'm going to use these. I'm just going to grab them. So they're these. These are what I'm using. They're really cool. So I'm going to use these, and I'm going to I'm going to go a bit exotic. I really kind of want to do, I'm going to do like a yellow monkey. I don't know why, I just feel to. So I'm going to take like a colour that's a bit like sand, and a yellow and I'm just gonna colour bits here and there I quite like the idea of making the front of him if you want to do a pink one you'd use pink and red um, the one I was looking at was white so you'd probably do oh not in my mouth that's not a good way forward where's the one nah! it's black and grey the one that I've got but I really like the idea of a colourful one so the darker colour is probably going to be in the body and the legs are going to be the lighter one. So do you know what? I'm just going to do a 
this like this and then what I might do is add the colours later on. Can you see that I'm colouring in quite a lot of the outline? So I'm not actually colouring inside because I don't need to. Now I want the yellow chest and I'm doing all that bit chunky there. I want the yellow chest because I think it looks kind of cool. I'm going to keep a bit of a white face. Uh, right, and then do you know what I'm going to do? What's close to yellow or orange? I would say red, but I'm going to do an orange. So any colours you like, as I say, you don't have to do... So where I'm doing the orange, you would probably do the black. And where I'm doing the this colour, you would do more of a grey. I quite like this. I like the fact it's a different kind of colour. So pause the video if it's a bit, if I'm doing it too fast. He looks awesome. <laughs> he looks really cool. Okay, I'm just going to colour in his eyes because that's what makes it. He's kind of got a black face. Annie's eyes are black. So we've got to make sure it stands out. Now what I might do, is I'm going to do brown for his face. I'm just looking now. But it's got a bit of white, so we're going to do a little line like that, because you want underneath white. And you want white there. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to go round. Like that. I'm going to go around everything. Because you kind of still want to see it is. I'm going to cover the whole thing. So I've smudged it, I don't know if you can see that, and then I'm going to, I haven't smudged it, I'm going to smudge it now. So you still want to see, I haven't coloured all of it in, because I still want to see all the light bits. There's your face, that looks quite cool. Now I'm going to get the black, uh, the brown, sorry. And I'm going to, he's like a real furry animal. So I'm going to outline him with some lines like fur, like fluffy. Always reminds me of zigzag lines. Can you see like zigzag there? He's got this ear to make his head stand out. I'm doing brown with it. So zigzag, zigzag. I'm doing some shading here. Okay, so I've pretty much nearly done with him. And I really like him, but we've got to smudge it just a little bit. So let's have a go at smudging. Good thing about blending is you can blend however much you like. So you could, if you don't want it too blended, then don't mix it too much with your finger. And the more you put on, the probably the easier it is to blend. I quite like keeping it simple. So I suppose you could call my gibbon a surreal gibbon because <laughs> you probably wouldn't get, you wouldn't get that kind of colour perhaps in real life. I mean you might but I don't think you would. What I'm going to do now is get a black, well I don't have a black so I'm going to get a dark blue and then I'm just going to outline the nose and the mouth and I kind of want to do, I'm going to do chalk, I'm just going to grab some chalks just because I want to do the chalks for the, look how cool these are. Yes, they're so cool. I want to do chalks because they're quicker and I want to show you how to do it. But I know you've got to probably catch up in colouring in the actual monkey. So this is a quicker way of showing you. But you want to take your time really. The tree would probably be brown. But I like the idea of green because against the brown monkey it looks kind of cool. There we go. Then the leaf. Oh, I missed out his feet. So his feet are turned over. So we don't really need to draw much of that. It's fine. We could maybe outline it. Because they're really fluffy, aren't they? 
And then you have the toes there, but we won't need to see those. So let's go. So with my chalk, I'm going over, I'm really loosely going over it, like really, I'm not taking that much time because I don't need to. You're obviously going to take your time. So I'm going over with dark green and light green. So I think it's quite nice to have a mixture. And you can do yours super slow. I'm just going quite fast. It's like I'm in a race, isn't it? <laughs> I'd obviously, in, in if this isn't a lesson for just me, I'd be really slow, just making sure I've got everything how I want it. But just to give you an idea, it's quite nice to just do it quickly for you. Quite like the idea of some vines. But then do you know what? I just draw another leaf there because it feels like that one on his own is a bit lonely, isn't it? Oh, he's on his own. There we go. Right, so there you have. You've got my gibbon in his little jungle. Obviously, because it is a jungle, you could add loads more. You could put like little leaves. It'd be quite nice to have a background of possibly blue. She might do it now because it's quite nice because all of her pictures has a background so it does look nice to have a background I think leaving it white's okay but it just looks quite nice when you colour something in it just makes it, it sort of brings it to life so feel free to paint it if you like the background that would look awesome um, or chalk I've just done chalk but you could do any colour you like and any medium so you've got chalk, oil, pasta, whatever you like. I think I might put a little bit of light green in there as well. Yeah. I quite like working with more of it. I'm going to outline this with dark green as well. There you go. There's my happy gibbon, Anais. I hope you've done, hope you've managed to do that let me know what it looks like and everyone else let me know how it goes and just keep adding whatever you want so make sure you color around the lines um, of the animal so all here so I've done it in black pen so it's easy to see mine but you won't be able to see yours so anything you can't see because it's in pencil just outline it with like a pastel a chalk or an oil whatever you like and then it will show up so like, subscribe and share. Let me know how you get on and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.